Welcome to the OAPN podcast with your host Adar Sakre. No bullshit, no cuts. 100% raw conversations with 0% fucks to give. We don't encourage the consumption of alcohol, but if you want to open up a cold one while you watch this, it's not a bad idea. Welcome to episode number 97 of On a Personal Note with Adar Sakre. On episode number 96, we had uh, Tejaswini Sharma. Uh, quite a sweet episode. Uh we spoke a lot about um, uh, how her time has changed uh, from being in coop to uh, now uh, trying to make her roads into the canada canada film industry and uh, yeah if you haven't uh, checked out that episode you should definitely check it out uh, some of you have recently started watching the podcast uh, some of you have joined us on instagram some of you have joined us on uh, youtube uh, thanks for coming in uh, there's already a lot of content out there uh, so please go ahead uh, check it out there are a lot of interesting people that you might know and you want to check them out so today is uh, yet another fun special guest <laughs> before we introduce her let's say hi to gayatri jayaram hello hi, hi. thank you? you for having me i'm good yeah. how are you it's taken a while i'm good a long while <laughs> lots of back and forth but yeah here finally yeah good yes things have kept you busy yes thank you for that thank <laughs> god for that <laughs> so gayatri is here i think uh, there's uh, no doubt that uh, her face has become familiar uh, especially with because her work with uh, go out it's yeah, called go out bangalore bangalore by zomato bangalore by zomato uh, a lot of you must have uh, seen her going to different uh, hotels restaurants uh, trying out food uh, doing a bit of travel and um, of course that must be your first impression of her uh, she's had her time at uh, modeling there's this uh, uh, new dream that has arisen because of opportunities saying okay i definitely want to be an actor going into the future uh, and uh, when i spoke to gayatri the first time she said hey you know what i'm i'm 20 dude i like <laughs> i don't <know. laughs> i have nothing to say <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know i'm i'm long 20. way to go before yeah. i achieve something <laughs> achieve something and i keep saying this uh, we don't talk about uh, only success here we are just here to have a good conversation and uh, uh, see how things how people are uh, thinking about things and how people are thinking about their professional lives and personal lives as well uh, so it's more like an opportunity uh, for us to meet you and it's more an opportunity for you to meet her as well and uh, yeah uh, uh, tune in uh, get comfortable this is going to be a fun one thanks gayatri thanks for coming in again. thank you for having me i'm excited <laughs> yeah what's been exciting of late what's been exciting just mm-hmm. the whole like the way i think the way the whole zomato guard bangalore page has um i don't want to say blown up but okay. the way it's sort of given me so much um recognition it feels like i've it feels like i've achieved something on my own which okay. makes me feel a little bit like okay like something nice. there's something going here like there's mm-hmm. something going here of course it's not the end goal it's not mm-hmm. where i want to be but it's yeah. definitely like a one step towards achieving the goal it's a good start it's a good start it's a good start and mm-hmm. like um yeah it's just been exciting the way things are going mm-hmm. a lot of people say and i also agree with them that this is like a dream job for a lot of people because you're basically getting paid to eat uh but that being said of course you it's exciting and stuff but you also have to have the comfort of talking in front of a camera you have to have the creativity to sort of come come up with stories for your videos that you're making and all of that so it's not like it's not all fun and games there's a lot of thought and creativity that goes into the videos that we make but it's been a great ride with them and like i want to lots more to come with them i think yeah it's not easy i think uh, nothing is easy yeah there's a lot of it's a nice opportunity yeah it pushes you it pushes you it tests yeah. you it teaches you also a lot yeah. because i mean having someone who's completely new to this industry yeah. teaches you so much about the way it works the mm-hmm. you know back end how it's not just like you're sitting in front of a camera there's so much mm-hmm. behind work that has to be done to sort of get the final product that you guys see on the instagram page mm-hmm. it's not just one person it's a whole yeah. team of people who are working yeah. to get it mm-hmm. the get way it, it is yeah uh we'll definitely talk about this and uh, it's nice to see that um, I mean a lot of people are watching those videos it's not yeah <laughs> not small numbers it's not small numbers it's yeah. that that's why i'm saying so i think yeah. because of the number of people it's reaching i'm i'm starting to get sort of a little bit of recognition okay 
um i go to restaurants sometimes people are like oh you're the zomato girl and you know they get me like i get discounts at restaurants that i go to oh, wow. to visit so it's been like good like that but i mean it's an it's also not all good things that you hear it's not all like it's motivation all it's not yeah, all yeah. good things and obviously i mean that's social media there are though you trolls. there are trolls there are people who are like commenting about the way you look the way you oh, talk yeah. a lot of a lot of things like that which are not a model like you also gets yeah, yeah, for yeah. looks i've i've been called uh, kiara advani from misho <laughs> that's that, that is that is one of the i don't know if it's a compliment or not because i like say i look like kiara advani <laughs> which but, is a compliment but they're saying from misho so like what is that <laughs> so then people are like that and then of course about the way i talk the language barrier in mm-hmm. in karnataka and how kannada is not yeah. spoken in our videos um sure so it's not all great things yeah, of course yeah. there are a couple mm-hmm. here and there who will really praise you and be like mm. okay you're really doing such a great job mm. but then there are the others who are like no you're so fake you're not natural oh, yeah 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 a lot of pretentious a lot of things like that yeah they think you're pretentious yeah yeah yeah, yeah. some of i've gotten comments about yeah unnatural in, fake in fact uh the day had reached out to you yeah uh what i liked was how you were not pretentious mm. like when i saw the video i knew that uh there's a large part of that that's you it's For most sure. of the people who are uh, in the space that yeah. you are in come across as pretentious yeah this came out very natural does not too much performance there yeah so i think it actually took me some time to get to not being pretentious like i don't know if you guys look please don't but if you look at my first video with zomato compared to my last one you can see i myself can see such a major difference in firstly the confidence just you you just gain confidence while you're doing the job right you're just like you know what to do you know what you're doing so that confidence has changed the the clarity in the way, the way i talk like a lot of people have given me feedback that i talk too fast mm. so i guess like that subconsciously I've changed and I've started to talk a little slower in my videos and all of that. So I see the difference between the first one and the latest one that I've done. So there is improvement. And that comes with experience in anything you do. You just the more you do it the better you get. Sure. But uh, then there've also been the people who have said like pronunciations of the words dosa as dose, vada as vadi, maleshwara as maleshwara. There was that one video that I did that really like was like just hit 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 a lot of it was the one with Ra- Raghavin rightly. Okay. Maleshwara now that they've said It's Malayshwaram. Malayshwaram. It's I think it's Malayshwaram. I've grown up there my entire life, so I think it's Malayshwaram too. Yeah, so okay. I don't know. They've so I've gotten a lot of like maybe, yeah. and also a lot of people. uh because of i'm assuming because of the way i look think i'm not from bangalore okay but i am very much born and brought up in bangalore i know kannada i can talk kannada it's just that we i've grown up in an english speaking house so sure. english is the primary language at mm-hmm. home um my mom is punjabi and my dad is tamilian so it's like the best of both worlds i like to call it but i'm born and brought up here so kannada varate kannada maatartini ah there you go take it <laughs> take it fully take yeah, it fully take it but i don't understand this if you're from bangalore you're supposed to look a certain way or what <laughs> i mean apparently they're like, like yeah like i get like oh you not these nice. i'm assuming like because which which is very sad because of the uh, skin color and things like that yeah. people think like only fair people are from north india wow. this that which is like like yeah. there are comments you not the get out of karnataka yeah. all you northeast come and ruin like i've not come here i've been born and brought up here i'm from here so what is the assumption that uh, fair people can't be from bangalore i have like, <laughs> like I, i don't know where like no i mean i'm not saying that for the ones who have assumed it it's a good yeah. question to ask i don't know mm. we should really dig into that yeah, and find out where yeah. it comes from <laughs> that question itself is going to get a lot of hate but <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, it is what what it is <laughs> anyway uh the other thing i want to talk to you about is uh, this uh, age thing right you came in and you said hey dude you know I'm yeah 20, 20. <laughs> but i think that's uh, it's almost become irrelevant now in terms of it has, uh, yeah. how old someone is uh because see uh, i'm 29 now and i'm uh, you know when i got into this whole content creation thing and uh I realized age is really like just nothing, a number, right? A lot yeah. of the things I've learned is from twenty, twenty-one year olds who have nailed it on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Uh, at the same time, uh, I've seen forty-year-olds kill it on Instagram. Yeah. Like they know the game in and out. Yeah. Uh, not just Instagram. I think just generally because of the access of information, mm. uh, age really has lost. Uh, 
you know yeah uh, such great importance because uh, yeah you can do uh, something great even at 14 today like you can make it at 14 absolutely yeah, yeah i don't know if that's a positive thing or a negative thing but so i think a, i'm like i think it's a gray area because it really depends on the for me it, i'm just blessed to have had parents who have been supportive of of me pursuing a career like this because a lot of people i know have not been who have families who are not supportive they're like okay so basically i i haven't gone to college i'm not i'm i'm diving straight into work oh wait that's interesting yeah so so i um yeah i just this is why we interview people <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so firstly let me tell you about my whole schooling so i switched three schools within Four years, even tried homeschooling. This was from eighth grade to twelfth grade. Home homeschooling. homeschooling. So we've tried everything with me because my parents thought, and I agree that I'm not made for 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 like studying for like actual like learning from the books. Like I'm just not made for that. They believe that, and I actually after like experiencing it, agree that you learn most from experiences, like more than anything, like. You don't like from your book and all you whatever you mug it up and write it in your exam. But where are you really learning from? From experiencing things. So in eighth grade, um, I was doing the ICSE board and they were like, like they saw my sister going through the whole grind of like mugging and spitting and they were like, you know, I don't think guy three is made for this. So they tried to pull me out and we tried homeschooling, which didn't work because it's a lot of effort to do homeschooling. It's a lot of discipline you need to have. It's a lot of. It's just complicated to do homeschooling. So then we decided to try the IGCSE board for me, which is a little more of a like you sort of learn. It's not. It's less of mugging. You're actually learning. So I did all of that and then finished whatever my twelfth grade. And when all of my friends are applying for colleges and writing their college apps and doing all of this, I was sending auditions for acting school because I wanted to go to acting school. So uh, there was a whole conversation, of course, with my parents about okay, am I going to go to college or not? Because it's a really, it's tough in the way that. Like I've always wanted to experience college life. It's it's something that I think everyone wants to experience. You want to go and like yeah. go crazy, have this fun time, nice. campus life, yeah. all of that. But then there's also a part of me that said like, like why when I can start working immediately, when I can really start working towards my goals immediately. Like it's just like a it's like a compromise basically you're making. Either what you go to for? yeah, what am I waiting for? And and for for an industry like this, you don't need a degree per se. It's like. Yeah. You work. You just—it's all about like the grind. You just keep working. The more work experience you have, the easier it is for you to get work, work, work. So yeah, so I finished school, twelfth grade, and um, I went to acting school in Mumbai, Anupam Khair's Acting Institute. Oh, you as well. Someone else had gone, no? Recently, someone spoke about it. The okay. Yeah, so I I did that. So they have a the longest course they have is a three month diploma in acting yeah, course. Mm-hmm. So that's I did that course. Um, I was in Bombay for some time, which now now looking back, I consider that as my college experience because that's the closest I got to it. It's like, you know, you have three months with these classmates. You're learning. You're in a different city. You're living alone. So that was my college experience. And yeah, so I haven't really like I don't have a degree per se, but I don't think it's needed in today's day and age. I feel like you just. Like you work, you get work from experience, and especially in the industry that I'm, that you wanna get I'm entering, you don't like. No one looks at like, oh, like okay, what's your yeah, degree? Yeah. Like it's like, what's your experience? Show me your work. Very interesting. Yeah, I didn't know about this. Uh, where did you go to schools? Which I went schools? to so first I was in Vidya Niketan, okay. and then I went to Legacy School. I don't know okay. if you've heard of that, mm-hmm. and then I went to Vidya Shil for my eleventh and twelfth. Yeah, okay, all sound very fancy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops. Fancy <laughs> schools. Uh, fancy. School. Fa- yeah, I mean they were all international schools. Mm, yeah, fancy. Uh, yeah, mm. but like no, no regrets. I mean, <laughs> yeah, of course. Was, you shouldn't uh, be. <laughs> not at all. And yeah, I mean it was, no, it was nice. great. It was a great, you yeah. know, experience. The people are around. Yeah. No, I think uh, this. Uh, it's called IGCSE, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen like a, so. There's a point in my life where I used to uh, take tuitions. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> let's not get into why, <laughs> how that went down. But uh, I used to have students from different uh, schools. Yeah. And, uh, I used to always see the students from uh, the IGCSE schools hmm. are always more open to expressing their views and 
even challenging me in terms of mm. what i'm thinking right they are waiting to challenge things like yeah. they they love it yeah, like yeah. they want to challenge it and i feel like that's nice and yeah which like is why i'm education teams yeah which is why i'm glad i switched both from the icse to the igcse because it's really the igcse is about actually explaining and making you understand why this is the conclusion of something you know it, it sort of takes you through every yeah. step of the way of why this is the way it is mm-hmm. so i'm glad i did the igcse board and like i enjoyed it throughout but i don't think i could do any more studying any like more. <laughs> i th- i think i'm not built for that i always think i'm built for more practical work than theory work which is why i'm telling you like a 9 to 5 job would not suit me i like to constantly be on the run so you did your 12th and you were done yeah and i was done wow. and yeah you know there was a time when that was looked down yeah and sometimes i still it's think not too long ago guys not too long ago even it's now even ago. now people yeah people like i don't know joke about it i don't know how serious they are about it but they're like you've not gone to college like what what are you doing there's already a but then i shower in their face that i'm getting work and i'm <laughs> you know i'm doing something with my life i'm not just Someone. sitting yeah i'm not oh, just sitting idle i didn't know zomato paid yeah it's a it's a paid completely gig. paid yeah mm. okay for some reason i thought it's like a it's like a collaboration no 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 right? it's a they are just pushing your you're pushing your name out there and no like it's a completely paid company. like anchor gig so i'm like oh, a proper anchor good. yeah uh, it is a dream job It is. It is you a know, dream job. Yeah, like, like you're getting paid to eat and I'm such a huge foodie that like <laughs> I I love doing this and half the restaurants I've gone to I've not even like really been to. So here you go get to experience it. It's it's fun. But it's a lot of creativity involved, a lot of confidence. Sure. Sure. Yeah. A little love question. Are you a lefty? No, I'm a righty. You're a righty. Okay. For yeah. some reason I felt uh, I eat with my right hand only in the way. No, I So you know there is this um There's this thing about uh, people who write with their left. Hmm. Uh, do you have any friends who write with their? I do. I, I do have a couple. Yeah. yeah. I always felt they're special for some hmm. reason. Hmm. Uh, people who write with their left uh, have certain traits that are like really out of the box. Hmm. And for some reason, when I saw you, I said maybe she's a lefty. Lefty, no, no, no. And it's like I mean, people who get it might get it. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. I just felt that. And uh, anyway, coming back to. <laughs> Uh, the topic so uh the 12th finishes and then you say you know what i'm acting i want to post you so actually it started with i want to post you acting okay um like i think i my ever since i was like 5 years old i wanted to be an actor yeah. like it's it's been my dream ever since i saw deepika padukone in om shanti om i was like that is it i want to be where she is so deepika padukone has truly inspired a generation yeah without a doubt like because you're like the Sixth or the seventh Seven, girl yeah. who was sat here huh. and said the same thing, yeah. which means she's a. I mean, she's had influence. Yeah, oh, mm. huge, and I think something that it's possibly. Why though? What about it? I don't know everything about, about her. Deepika I think Padukone I think just the you. her journey, the way she's made it from like you know, I wouldn't say a nothing, but the way she's made it to where she is right now, like one of the top mm. actresses in our country. <laughs> It's just crazy to see, and it's just it's like it's also proud. Like I feel like it's a personal thing because she's come from Bengaluru. I'm like it feels so personal. It feels like so like you know it's something I can do. If yeah. if she's done it, I can do it. There's so this possibility to yeah to get to where she happen. is yeah, yeah to get to those heights to reach those heights. So ever since I saw her in Om Shanti Om, I was like that's it. This is this is where I want to be. And then uh, of course it was like even when I was in school, I started off by pursuing modeling. I was like let me follow her paths exactly. So she. She started off as a model as well, so I was like, okay, let me start with this. So literally, at the age of fifteen, I started modeling with an agency and all of that. And uh, it's hard to balance 15? it. Yeah, at fifteen, I started off. How did that happen? My, I, like I said, my parents have been really supportive of it, and so th- like at fifteen, you had like what a shoot? Uh, I was mainly doing ramp walks more okay. than yeah, mm. um, not a lot of shoots. I was doing a lot of fashion is, shows. Uh, Yeah, because your posts on Instagram go from 2018. Yeah, so yeah, that was that an, was I think tw- yeah that was when I did my first portfolio shoot. You know, you need all the left side, right side angle and all that. That's when I started off, and then I got with an agency, did some ramp walks. But then it's really hard to balance at that point in your life between your school, you have board exams coming up, then you have like this fashion show, this that. It's like a bit. It was a bit hard to sort of balance it out, sure. but it was a great experience nonetheless. Like I'm so thankful that I did it because I think it gave me an insight into the industry. into the fashion industry into the beauty industry which i had no clue because none of my parents are from this industry no one in my family is from this industry so to sort of get an insight into how mm-hmm. tough it is how competitive it is 
like everybody looks the same what what's there in you that is different yeah. from them you know that's make, gonna make you go one step ahead of them so started with that did the modeling um then after school i was like for sure i want to pursue this like now okay like let's take the modeling aside i want to i want to be in movies i want to yeah. tell stories uh which is when of course i was like okay first step is acting school learn learn the craft of it you know um before anything else so again the acting school taught me a lot again from what the industry is like again the competition is unreal i had no clue Over like no Oh, I mean, I really thought like I'm gonna go into Bombay. I'm gonna finish this acting school, go give auditions, and that's it. I'm gonna be like chosen, and I'm gonna be the next like super like heroine in the film. Like that's not at all what happened. It was like it's it's really overwhelming. Like I think one day I went for this um open open introduction call in R Ram Nagar. That's like the hub for auditions and stuff Bombay. in Bombay, and it was only for girls. It was only girls. open introduction and i swear the road was blocked like it was a whole road like a wide road cops are there the road is blocked because of the number of people who have come to give their introduction video that's what i i didn't know it was like that so it was for what it just it's just for a casting company to have your introduction that's it it's not even for so a particular film a gig. it's not even a for it's just so that they have your details and this is like a mainstream scene or like someone just no very like a very big casting company okay everyone knows about it they want to give their profile yeah no yeah no the road is blocked that i'm looking around i'm like so how like, many people you think how many people i don't even know like <laughs> like 100 more than that more than 100 for sure oh, 250 wow. to 300 yeah. people Two fifty to three hundred women, just like women, just standing to give that introduction and be like, "Hi, I'm Gayatri. I'm nineteen years old. Left, right, this, that." Mm-hmm. Like it was so overwhelming, and that's when I saw. I think sort of reality hit, and I was like, "Wait, like this is not what what I thought it would be." Like, like I'm really literally seeing every other person around me, and the thing is, like, when you're around them, you you're like, "Okay, fine." Like. Y'all are all okay. You look like there are people who look this similar to me. All of them are probably talented. So now, what is there in you that's gonna make them choose you over all of these like two hundred and fifty people who have everything that you have, right? So that's when I was like, oh, oh my god, like what is happening? Like if you knew someone from that company, will it be easier? For sure. Yeah. I mean, I think influence is always. Um, that's pretty crazy, you know. It's always it's always a plus sign. It's always it always helps out to have some sort of connection yeah. in any industry, not just in this industry. I think wherever you go, if you have any influence, it helps. Influence out. it helps out. Yeah, because I feel like that's also a very strategic thing we need to do, right? Like over yeah. time, yeah. just keep connecting with people because yeah. you never know. Who's doing what and yeah. where someone will have influence over? No, for someone. sure. Which is why, like, like in this industry, I think the second most important thing after being talented, hardworking is networking. Yeah. Because like your network could change your entire life. Yeah. I think. True. Yeah. And I feel like uh, what your network can do for you, um, what your network can do for you in a moment, it'll yeah. take you like years to. Yeah. Get that move. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, when you start modeling, mm. uh, was there confidence or was there like? A I mean, I was fifteen years old. I don't know uh, what I was doing. <laughs> I was like, like, I was like, I don't know. Like, I just love posing. I love getting ready. I'm here. Like, put the camera, take pictures of me. Like, that's. I didn't know what it was yeah. about. And then when it started becoming like ramp walking, it was like even more nerve wracking because I'm like, shit. Like, I have to walk on this ramp with high heels. I've never walked in high heels before. How if I fall? What It's gonna happen. So, like, I like hate looking back at the videos as well because it's it was so bad. <laughs> just like my videos are like, like what the way you walk. Yeah, just that. the way. I mean, like now looking back to what I can do now compared to then, I'm like, okay, that was like really bad. That is not it at all. Not it. Yeah. Not it. Yeah, but um, so there's no confidence, but it it helps you gain confidence, I think, because you're doing it right. You're getting here and there. People are like, okay, there's this improvement. There's that improvement. So, for sure, I think. Mm. it helps with the confidence but it also doesn't help that there are people around you who are because they're your competition they want to bring you down and be like okay yeah, there. yeah like that's you know there. i'm better than you just in a very like not even in a very low key way that like yeah yeah very subtle yeah yeah um you think homeschooling made you miss out on anything no so so actually I think the reason I didn't homeschool was because I felt like I was missing out on so many things. Which is why you went back to went uh, back to school mm-hmm. because I think, mm-hmm. and I think more than 
education and more than like studying i think schools are important for socializing for making friends for yeah. for learning the way of like yeah, just, just the basics true. the basics yeah. of social life like i couldn't be here talking to you if i hadn't gone to school because true. all i've learned about talking to you know people is from school because you're making friends you're making new things so for sure like i think yeah going to school important. going to school is more, like i i like to say more important for your like general you know just general what do you call it like like less important for your education and more important for your yeah socializing yeah, life learning skills. life skills yeah, life skills that was looking for for the yeah, life skills yeah um that's nice uh this whole thing of getting overwhelmed in bombay right mm. i think it's so real for like and i'm sure like out of those 200 women who came yeah. there like a lot of those people went through the same thing yeah because uh, say when you're on the way to the audition uh, you don't picture that many people not at all like so i you really might imagine say 20 people yeah. or 30 people yeah which means that you still have like a good chance of yeah. making it no. and then you uh, get to a place and you realize man there's yeah. way too many people and then you come back home and you're like shit i really need to do some something uh, something that yeah, will make like, me stand out yeah where do i start because yeah. you do realize that even if this comes through that's not the yeah you know it's not going to make it for you because yeah. at the next stage you're again going to have there's someone like, there will be someone better there's all there yeah. you should but you should always work with that thing i feel like you should always work with the thought that there will always be someone better than you so that makes you want to work yeah. harder right yeah, that much harder, harder because you're like okay if there is always going to be someone then what am i going to do that's going to make me work sure. harder than them sure um how did your friends receive this by the way you like saying i'm not going to study super anymore. supportive honestly i think i'm really grateful to have yeah. friends who are super supportive actually they were also like super in the in the sense that like if they knew someone if they know someone who can help me out to get into this industry this that they've always put me on to people who can mm. guide me and all of that so that way i've had super supportive friends family like family aunts uncles whoever knows anybody who can help me out has always like helped me and no one has been and i feel really lucky to have that because when i went to acting school when i met people who are trying to do the same thing as me i've heard horror stories of how they're hiding it from their parents that they've come here their parents don't even know they're doing this with their own money and like yeah, i just feel like super yeah i just feel like so blessed that i have like mm. a family parents friends who support it and really like allow me to do what i what want, to, want do. to do yeah yeah it's extremely important yeah. and um uh is there a fear that hey you know what if i don't uh, yeah if i don't make it i'm fucked because like i don't have this degree or i don't have this 9 to 5 waiting for me yeah there's always a uh, there's always a fear that kicks in there's always like that yeah. what if like that always that what if that comes in your head like okay what like what's what's going to happen if i don't because i don't have a plan b but <laughs> <laughs> i think i just i think i have enough belief in myself that plan is going to work that that plan is going to work and like whatever like maybe like like this zomato thing came out of nowhere right like you know like i just oh. like trust the universe that something yeah. will from somewhere like mm-hmm. and i have that belief that i will make something work out for myself even if it's not acting which i hope it is but even if it's not that i know that like i have enough self belief mm. that something will work out and you know be good for me should it should and uh, do you do you see this happening a lot more with people where they're just dropping out of college and like saying let me mm. like maybe not in your friends but say in the 20 year olds today hmm. you see like it happening a little more than more than i think yeah more than more than it used to for sure yeah and i think it's i think it's not that bad like i think yeah, it's yeah i think it's pretty awesome it's pretty cool i mean you're yeah. risky but it's pretty cool it's just it's just i feel sometimes i just feel because i see my friends you know like all over the world forget the country in the us uk europe like just enjoying the life of a college student which i'm missed out on but yeah. again it's something that i've chosen for myself so i can't really complain about mm. it but the reality is i think the work that you're doing right and yeah. people who drop out of college or school whatever it is to pursue work you end up getting the same experiences eventually yeah. in a very different way yeah. but you do yeah. like like you're still getting out there you're still meeting people yeah. and it's not like uh, you're not meeting new people yeah right? for I mean, sure you're here yeah 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 you yeah no yeah and you're op- which means you're open to like you yeah know, seeing what what else is out there and keep trying yeah, out, yeah absolutely yeah which makes up for some of the things some maybe. of the things but of course it's not the same exact thing but it's definitely like it's 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 similar it's just a different mm. way of see- looking at it looking it's, at yeah it. it's just mm. like seeing it from a different lens but yeah for sure it's awesome it's interesting it's um 
Like I try to live vicariously through their stories, and they'll be telling me, "Yeah, this is what we did." I was like, "Yeah, okay." Like I'm trying to imagine how how that would be. Oh, your friends, yeah, in college. who are in college, they'd be like, "This, that, we go on this trip, that trip." But yeah, I mean, and I actually like to make up for it. I think um, to make up for studying abroad, I did like a whole two month Europe holiday last year, solo holiday, okay. which really helped me. I think oh, yeah. make up. Where did you go? I went first. I went London. Um, it was all by yourself. All by myself, but of course but I know people, there. people there, family yeah. friends who yeah. have like stayed sure. with people when I went sure. there. But traveling on my own, yeah. so I did London. We did uh, we because mm-hmm. I met my parents also there halfway. My sister studies in Bulgaria, so oh, wow. went to meet her. Mm-hmm. Then went to Spain, Portugal, yeah. yeah. For oh, those very exciting. So I think that like like coming back to saying like you learn from experience. I think even traveling because. Mm-hmm. You learn so much from traveling, yeah. and I have my parents to vouch for this. Both of them are from the travel industry. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. so they both are. They have their own travel companies. So oh, they've always cool. pushed for, like you know, travel is the best. It's a good exposure. Best way to learn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how did uh, Zomato come through? I mean, what happened? So it's actually really. It, it's it's a very normal story actually yeah, to sure. say because it was a. But it's given uh, you so much. Yeah. So actually, it was. I had a, a mutual friend I was following who I used to do not mutual actually. I used to model with her. So technically, it's all low key connected to each other. So I used to model Who's with her. Uh, her name is Sanjana. Okay. So she uh, posted a story saying so she was interning with Zomato at the time. Okay. And this is when they just launched the Guar page. It's a fairly new page, less than a year old. And she launched this whole page, and uh, you know she was like the one heading it. So she just put up a story saying we're looking for these anchors who talk about food, and you had to send in an audition video. Okay. So uh, I was like applied, 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 and then I had to send the audition. She called me and said, okay, now you're you're like shortlisted, but you have to send us the audition now. Then I took a really long time about thinking about what I want to give this give in this audition. So first, I actually shot a video um, for Milano, like Milano the ice cream chain, saying like, okay, yeah, this that very normal video, like, okay, this is me eating. Then I, I was looking at the video. I was like, this is so not me. Like, this is just like not something that I want to show them. Okay. Then I was like, I know exactly what to do. So I've gone at home, put out my ring light, taken the video, and she said, talk about your favorite food. Who said your friend? Yeah, my friend. She's like, your your video. You have to talk about your favorite food. I put out my light. I have just gone on talking about donne biryani. That is all. <laughs> that is all. I'm just like, this is donne biryani. I love donne biryani. It's so different from all other biryanis because of this, this, this. My favorite donne biryani is Prashant's biryani in New Bedford with the kebab and mutton chops. I'm just going on and on about donne biryani. I'm fully, like, fully just talking. I'm like, yeah, I like eat it with my fingers, licking my finger. I love it. On and on and on. I've taken this video and <laughs> sent it. I didn't even read. Take it. I was like, "This is me. Like, this is me now. This is me." Fucking take it. Take it. Take it. Tell me what you want now. <laughs> she- <laughs> oh man. So she has seen the video and she was like, "Fuck yeah, we love it. <laughs> we love it. You are coming in for a test shoot right now." <laughs> so. Uh- <laughs> Yeah, I and still I still have that video on my phone. Oh, when I make it really big, maybe I'll post. Oh, it. Be boss. like, <laughs> this is where that's I started from my Doni Biryani <laughs> video. video. But you really love Doni Biryani. I love oh. Doni Biryani. Oh my Seriously? god, I love it. Wow. Especially Prashant. You know Prashant's Nati yeah, Corner. Yeah, yeah. Of course. New yeah. Bazaar. Oh my god, my friends and I have gone there like. <laughs> Many times a week, eaten like uh, the bi- mutton biryani, mutton chops, chicken kebab, yeah. everything together. Hmm. Amazing. Then when we moved, when I moved houses, we ordered to our new house as well because it's just like there's nothing that comes close to Prashant's biryani. So I've spoken about that, and then she's like, "Okay, done. Like, come for a test shoot." So it wasn't confirmed yet. She's like, "You have to do a oh, test shoot and all that." Like, it. yeah, it's, she's like, "You have to do a test shoot and all." And for the test shoot, they've given me this um, Central Jail restaurant in HSR. Ah, Liyad. I know. Hmm. So that was my first ever shoot, and they like it was a test shoot, but they ended up posting it, and I was so nervous that day because I was like, I don't know. Which is what I saw. Yeah, that was a Which fir- my I first saw. ever video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So and then they wanted like this whole for that because it's such a unique restaurant. They wanted a whole concept of like you know make it a storyline like cops and robbers this that. So I'm like really, I'm at that restaurant co- making a complete fool of myself like acting like I'm running from the cops and like putting handcuffs on like fully making a fool of myself at that restaurant. And then like the video came out really well and they were like yeah but now looking back this is not it's not something I. Uh, I'm wouldn't say proud of. It's just like different from what I do Damn now. Better. Yeah, mm. but oh, yeah. You so know what, you know what's crazy? 
and i'll be very honest about this yeah right because i think this point makes it a um extremely valid point uh especially for you mm-hmm. uh i was not ready to believe that you actually like the nebriyan because what do you even, mean yeah even as an audience mm-hmm. i'm not ready to place you uh because of who you are yeah uh as a real lover of Dorne biryani mm. like you can't you can't be a die hard fan of it mm. and uh, of course what i'm trying to tell you is that's the default response yeah that of I, everyone yeah so chances are people are not ready to buy it yeah that this girl actually loves yeah, the food yeah. she's talking yeah. about yeah and i think this piece that you just said kind of Yeah. Maybe we'll show. Yeah. So I think one another video that that my team, my Zomato team, always tells me was like they that that that's one of their favorite videos of me was the uh, money dum biryani video I did with my okay. colleague Alan. Sure. So we have literally woken up at four a.m., driven to Hoskote to eat this money dum biryani fresh in the morning. and we recorded it so there you sort of get to see the real like i think that's the realest i've ever been on camera because like i'm like taking the mutton and like dripping it apart eating like every piece not even leaving my my eyes are watering my mouth <laughs> watering right now i <laughs> left non vegetarian food but my mouth is watering <laughs> my eyes are watering nose is running i'm like i don't give a fuck i'm just going to enjoy this fucking biryani that i woke up at 4 in the morning to eat <laughs> it's so good sweet Uh Alan is fun. Alan is great fun. He's yeah. he's like one of our star star yeah. um quite a character. Yeah. And it'll be nice uh, meeting him. But um anyway, coming back to this uh, video for and you get into uh, Zomato yeah. and you do this uh, and it, video. And it, it like in the smallest of ways I think Zomato changed my life. Yeah. Firstly in terms of just like it's not something I needed but it's always something I vouched for that's financial independence. Mm-hmm. It's not like my oh, parents giving you that. Yeah, it's not that my parents will not like they're very because I didn't go to college. So they're like that money is for your Mm-hmm. you're not doing what what you yeah. want learning adding to your skills but there's always that one like selfish part of you where like okay i've not gone to college i want to earn i want to be financially independent right so i think that is something That's that zomato gave me um, what have they promised you like is there like a long term thing for this or like hey you know what let's just keep doing this until it works just keep doing this until until it, until works. it works yeah i, yeah. I guess that's the nature of these projects yeah. anyway right yeah. and, until it's benefiting everyone then you'll yeah. do it or else yeah. uh it doesn't make sense yeah, to for sure for sure mm. so and you're very aware of that it's not yeah. like you're i'm not relying on it banking mm. on it for a long term thing i yeah. mean it's yeah well it goes as far however like it wherever mm. however, however far goes like it, it this, is what it is so there's this Are you saying something? No, so I was saying like mm-hmm. for, it gave me that financial sure. thing, and then of course, like I said, it gave me a lot of reach for even surprisingly a lot of um, people from the film industry also sure. noticed me. Um, oh, and have can you give me an example of how this? Happened so then? again, it's just same, just, same like yeah. from um, mm. seeing the post because they it's a sponsored ad, so yeah. a lot of people see it and they message you and say like this, this, this. So the thing is. I don't know how reliable these people are because they're not like the they're so not like the people have asked you for auditions and not even auditions straight come do a movie with me oh damn which is damn. very uh, I don't know <laughs> uh, I, I like that which is which is what makes it a little bit like suspicious like at least make mm. me audition right like at least yeah. see if I'm worth getting the role yeah where is this really going yeah where yeah. is this so so sometimes i mean it's also this industry is a very very you have to be super careful yeah. especially as a woman yeah you have to be very you careful with who is who you're talking yeah. about to what they're looking for it's something that you need to be really wary of sure. so um yeah so it's gotten me reached to people from the industry people also who are not who are not like people who just work at these production houses Mm. and say like i can help you do it but you're like you are like in the back end like somewhere you're not yeah. you know how how do, how you can really you really yeah, yeah how can you really help so it's gotten me that sort of thing then a lot of again like the whole influencer market which i it's not something i was keen on entering or mm-hmm. you know the whole influencer products and yeah i don't think we have i don't think we decide Yeah. If you're entering it or not. Entering it it's or not. Yeah. It's just people's. Yeah. I mean, Absolutely. according to a lot of people, you are an influencer yeah. already. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. You can't whether you yeah. accept it. Yeah. Accept it or not. So so then it got me a lot of like whatever brands who are like okay come let's collab let's do this that and all of that which I if it's like something that I feel like is worth doing I do it if it's something that I feel like I won't add value to me or my sort of profile it's I I don't take it up so mm. so that way as well it's gotten sure. me um a lot of reach a lot of reach yeah um this i was talking about this girl her name is shena is have you uh, on instagram mm, no uh, you may see travels and has a lot of these uh, reviews and things like that. i'll tell you why shena i hope i'm getting uh, shena's gill Ah, oh, she's she's a big boss chick. She knows girl, no, she knows girl. That, girl. that travel. Uh, uh, can I get you another example? This curly is it curly tails? Curly tails, yeah. Ah, uh, we talk like huh. something like that, right? So yeah. There are these uh, there are these girls who have take other things. There are these girls who have uh, tied up with. you know brands and mm. suddenly their life becomes about say travel blogging and yeah. food blogging that's my dream job to yeah to i don't know like my dream was to travel the world like travel is like something like i would love to do um but i think now that i've gotten a taste into what it's like to be a blogger it's mm. not easy at all because it's like constant like you need like if you're shoot especially if you're alone if you don't have a person to help you with your camera lighting and all that it's like really difficult because you have like you need to set up everything yourself and imagine doing that while traveling it's probably something that's super 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 difficult stressful. to do stressful stressful to do like yeah. i struggle just doing like a home like a clothing brand real like i struggle to make that itself how hard would it be to like do this travel thing but i think once you get a gist of it you get in the flow and you know what you're doing but yeah like i think influencers have become a big thing yeah in today's day and age it's like a very um yeah, it's 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 working it's working but i think it's it's like oh like i feel like the graph is flat right now with influencers it's mm. it's up but it's flat wow that's true it's not um it's not gone down it's not gone, gone up. up it's it's, it's uh, almost saturated in a way it's it's very saturated mm. very very saturated every no, every that's person not a, that's not a good sign it's not a good sign because every person is trying to become they mm. think it's easy that's the thing like Yeah. It's it's a very saturated market now. Yeah. Everyone's trying to become influencer. So again, here also it's like, what is there new that people are going to watch you over the rest of them who are like sure. dressing up and doing their makeup or whatever it is. So these videos that go out on the page, uh, you don't have help from anyone. Uh, uh, which one? For Goa Bangalore. So Goa Bangalore, I I'm only the anchor. I okay. don't do anything. So you don't else. need to worry. About I don't. It yeah, so I'm you just have, a, like someone. Yeah. Like shooting. For Goa, and, I just go to the restaurant, like okay. do my anchoring and uh, mm-hmm. eat the food and go <laughs> and move. <laughs> and move. But that's nice. Yeah. Because you have support. Yeah. So that mm. that is completely backed up. Sure. Uh, coming back to your acting school, right? Uh, now. Uh, did that really? Uh, I mean, did it give you something? Three months at uh, for sure. Why I did think. You, I mean, why didn't you stay in Bombay? So I think first coming to your did it yeah. did the acting school give me anything for sure? Especially for someone who's new to the craft, um, it it taught me a lot about like what what is acting all about, you know. <laughs> also, it was a very intense course because you're trying to. um first of all in 3 months you're trying to learn everything right you're trying to learn everything about acting and then you're sort of trying to i ke- i feel like i came out of the acting school as a different person because you tap into certain life experiences that you've had which you've never tapped into before you've just brushed it under the carpet but because you're in acting school you're trying to get out as real emotions as you can yeah. for which you need to tap into real life experiences yeah. so you tap into a lot of like trauma yeah. <laughs> per se and like it's 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 like it's like therapy loki it's like you're really letting it all out right yeah. so that we and also of course the whole learning the whole process of acting and what it's all about what the industry is all about you know how how you do it what auditions are how to take good auditions everything like for someone who has no clue about the industry it's a great great thing to do to do a course like this um then after i stayed in bombay so i was in bombay for about a year out of which the three months were in the acting school then after the acting school it's the it's the usual like it's the usual you go for your rounds around our ramnagar knocking on every casting directors like yeah. door and being like please show me, me give work. me some work give me some work give me some work but there's only so much you can do if you go every day they're like get out like how much are you like you've, they've come yesterday we'll call, call you, you. 
that's so of course nice. it's like whatever like and actually sometimes it's not like it's not like they're always like just like rejecting you and saying no sometimes they're like okay actually send me your number take my number I might have something we are casting for something that you might fit so drop me a text and you know this that it, yeah. then um, yeah then there was the whole again trying to network you know going again cast in the casting offices you're trying to network there itself just build personal <laughs> relationship <laughs> wherever you're just also trying to build a personal relationship yeah. with at least someone from there so that they know like okay you know you're my friend sort of a thing so that was happening then I think it got a little bit it just got hard I mean like you said it's not it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's overwhelming right you're there alone in a city where I was completely new to like 19 years old I had no clue like what this industry is about what exactly I'm doing um, so it got a little overwhelming then I came back to Bangalore in the thought of going back to Bombay after a break here and that's when Zomato came along and I was like okay let me try this out then I said again like I was planning to go back again this year sometime to try again but I was thinking about why why am I not trying for the South industry? Like, mm, I was like, shop. I'm from Bangalore. I'm half South Indian. <laughs> and this industry is at is the best it's ever been, especially sandalwood. Yeah. It's it's at it's at its peak. Yeah. So I was like, why am I why am I Bombay, Bombay, Bombay? Why am I all about Bollywood when when it's 100%. in my city, in my yeah. state, there are 100%. great films being made. Yeah. Great stories There's that are being told. a lot of told. people you know here than Bombay. Yeah. Like your network is stronger here, here exactly. than there. Yeah. Here, there is respect yeah. because there's work yeah. and there's credibility. There yeah. it's like uh, even the respect you deserve is not being yeah. given. Yeah. yeah. So that's when I was like, like, like put Bombay on a hold. Not that like, like not, don't not rule it labor. out. Yeah, yeah. Don't rule it out. Mm. Maybe some sometime Someday, in the future. Yeah. But right now when I have everything that I have here yeah. and when this industry is doing like the best films you'll ever see mm -hmm. what what are you waiting for just like go for it so now now the now the grind starts in Bangalore in Bangalore <laughs> casting off but but the thing is I find like the difference between sure. Bollywood and or Bombay and Bangalore is that because our industry is comparatively smaller mm -hmm. to Bollywood which is like huge mm -hmm. it's like difficult to know who to approach because in Bollywood you know like these are like five huge casting offices mm -hmm. you go to all these five here I don't know any casting offices like I don't know who who mm -hmm. does the casting here because it's such a small industry right it's yeah. super low key it's super it's also not so structured and out yeah, there yeah it's exactly but that's also the charm there. of it mm. like it's yeah. It's a nice it's a nice way, but that's the thing again, what helps here is your influence connection. Yeah, here it's network. Here sure it's it who is. You know. Yeah, who you know. Here it's who you know and that's the whole thing, you know. Yeah. Way. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And I also feel like in uh, as of today in twenty twenty four, yeah. Uh you can't compare Bangalore and Bombay. Both no, are no. special in their in own, its ways, own yeah. way. Bombay has a lot for you, but Bangalore has a lot more, more for you for as you. well. Yeah. And it wasn't the case a few years yeah. ago. And now Bangalore's really opened up. It Bangalore has, it has. opened up for anyone and everyone. Everyone, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, Which is why it's the best place to be right now. Like it's, it's, you have to yeah. be here. Like yes, if you yes. want, if you want to get work, here's the Come place here. to be. This yeah. is the place to be. And it's, uh, it's more credible sometimes yeah. because actually in my opinion there are more deserving people getting opportunities here than anywhere else in the country absolutely right yeah. i agree mm. fully agree like i'm talking specifically to this industry the, sure. the film industry yeah. i think the talent that is being respected our sa sandalwood industry has got right yeah. now it's like incredible Beautiful. really really incredible uh, there's this uh what's his name michael ajay yeah, Michael Ajay, who uh, uh, who has a um, uh, yeah he 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 has African origin. Is that what it is? If I'm wrong, then we'll like mute this out. I think, I think so. Yeah. yeah. If it's yeah. true, then we'll put this out. But he was on Big Boss, and mm. he has of African origin, I think. But uh, he learned to speak Canada, mm. and that combination kind of really worked. And they got mm. him on Big Boss, and now he's out of Big Boss, and like people are like going crazy, mm. uh, like a huge following, and they're just waiting to listen to him speak in Canada because they're just yeah, enjoying, enjoying the enjoying yeah, that. Yeah. So uh, the point I'm trying to make is people are ready for like. A lot of like unique stuff here. Yeah. And it's more it's more inviting to everyone. Yeah. Anyway. While it's not, 
yeah. which is what we are going to speak now yeah. about uh, a lot of people are not okay with uh, you know north indians yeah. coming yeah. in and yeah. uh, working here yeah but at the same time i think uh, the sensible ones at least Yeah. are okay with working with anyone and everyone for sure for sure and like adding to the whole way in which this industry is working i think the stories that like i'll club it in the south industry the south industry says compared to bollywood i think there's so much more real and raw like I feel like Bollywood is an industry which in its own way has a charm of romanticizing things of of you know sort of making things super like like bo- in the Bollywood way but mm. in the south every story you tell is super raw it's so real it's so like it touches your heart I feel there's like no every pretense. yeah there's no pretense there's no extra drama there's no like it's super just super raw and real, real and very real really 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 touches you so sure um so uh, we were speaking about the people uh, trolling you for yeah. your Canada Canada and, uh, <laughs> uh you know i mentioned to you that uh, we had a real go out and i think you yeah, watched it yeah i watched it yes it. of course uh, and uh, there's so many canadian guys who came forward and it's still going like yeah. every day i have comments on that yeah. saying hey Uh, brother now we do you matter no problem huh. uh, which means the real kanadigas are in support of yeah. what what i'm doing here yeah. but i think there's a majority of it uh, i mean even after that video came out and on the next episode mm. tejaswini is a kugi uh, mm. who knows kannada but she sat here and spoke in english mm. and the first comment was kannada al matadi so mm. maybe some things don't change but yeah how's that been for you and uh, so uh, how's that uh, been for you one second what is it that you want to tell people who have been trying to like troll you yeah. so i think uh <laughs> How has it been for me? It's been like, like honestly, I try to not take the trolls to my heart because it's like from what I, if you're in the public eye, I feel like people are bound to say negative things, and you just have to learn to take it in your stride or ignore it. So I try to ignore it as much as I can. Also because I know that, like when people say "Oh, Canada, Mata Di," and all that, I'm like, I know, true to myself, I know I can talk Canada. Nan Canada Mata Bodu. So it's. like it's something that i i'm like it's fine like if they are taking offense to it i i know that i'm sure i'm not doing anything wrong it's not something that's super yeah. serious that i'm like actually like need to be yeah. trolled for um and yeah like i feel like for to, if i have to tell them something it's it's just the same like like nan kannada maatar bodu nan bodhe dini kannada utte belde to bengaluru allene so full nan bodh bodu maatar bodu swalpa perfect agilla and they try martini nan maataradu so Yeah, they should say. they should have support for that yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. instead of pulling you down yeah and uh, and uh, when you talk about the whole right here yeah. you are still attempting yeah right uh, people come here and not even attempt what you just did. yeah and that's just the reality of it yeah so i'm attempting i've also i the videos not come out yet but i did a, a zomato video in canada fully really <laughs> yeah which wow. is out yet come out so once it comes out they will all see <laughs> Well, that uh, I'm not sure. Not okay. not no idea yet. Soon, And hopefully. Like fully can. Are you alone or with like alone alone? Oh Just damn, dude! In Kerala. <laughs> And did, I have like the, what like, did you have to drink or smoke to do that? Video? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I was like. Like the vibe of the restaurant was fully Canada, very local. So I was like, okay, this is like the perfect That's opportunity. And of course, I have like my team, the videographer, oh. the assistants over there who know it properly because they are, you know, proper Canada guys. So they've helped me out and in, in whatever the way to see it and all that. So it's not like I'm not trying. It's definitely sure. something that I'm trying. And yeah. I think yeah, like you said, people should give give yeah, sure. give us well, that that we're trying. It's not like we're neglecting yeah. their. Dude, kudos to that. Kudos yeah, thank that. you. <laughs> it's um, not easy for anyone yeah um, something else i was going to ask you about yeah about your social media game right mm. so right now it's pretty much go out bang on in collaboration yeah. with that yeah. and that's gathered uh, a lot of views yeah um but while there are views i think to gain followership is mm. um a game by itself yeah. so oh, there hard. was a time on uh, honestly there was a time on instagram even 6 months ago views meant followers mm. the more views you got mm. the more followers you got yeah. right like i have people have come here and they've told me uh one reel went viral and uh, i got 20k followers in a day one reel went viral wow. i got 70k followers in a day wow. right yeah. like imagine an overnight bump of 70k 40k that's crazy, right yeah. that's crazy yeah <coughs> and that was very common even 6 months ago yeah. but that has stopped now mm. 
you have reels that have crossed a million views yeah but it doesn't mean followers no followers, not right? at all how have you been looking at all of this so i think um It, what I from what I've heard from people who are experts at this is that consistency is key with your social media. You need to keep posting. They actually say like five six stories in a day, four five reels in a week. Then these posts, this and that. But it's just something that I've not been able to get myself to do because I personally, when I see people posting so much, I get irritated seeing content that's constantly posted. So I don't want to be the person who is constantly jamming their stories five six stories in a day. Like oh guys, what should I do today? Like just like. nonsense like that's not something because when i see it i i find it annoying but no, if screen. yeah but that's what the algorithm is like you need to keep doing it so it's that, that's why you have to like see where you want to draw the line do you want to be like like how important are your followers to you so i'm like okay i can take it like as organic as it comes like there's no hurry to reach a certain number of followers whenever people see something they like on my profile and want to let them, let them. like there's no rush at all and yeah that's there was a little pressure actually when i was in bombay which is um interesting where sometimes when casting um associates would reach out to me how many followers do you have on instagram was a question that was asked which why is it important if i if you if you want to cast me for something why are the number of followers i have important for casting me right so it was something that was so there's a little pressure then but then i was like honestly for the real stuff for the real if they're really looking for your talent then they shouldn't give a fuck about yeah. the number of followers you it's have it's damn messed up that um people have started to cast like that yeah and i've seen projects where uh people have been casted only for the number of followers followers they, they have and that's really messing things up yeah. honestly right yeah. because now you're saying now again right there are people who have worked really hard for those followers yeah. there are people who got it by by chance yeah There's and also that, some by paying <laughs> some by paying yeah. yeah a lot yeah, by yeah. fucking paying yeah and um now suddenly what started to happen is Uh, so what you're ready to let go of real art yeah right? you're saying exactly because art uh, to be uh, discovered in its most authentic form chances are when you discover it yeah. when you discover talent doesn't have following yeah that's why you cast yeah. that's why you search yeah. that's why you launch hidden hidden gems hidden gems yeah. right that's art yeah. but if you're saying that you want like this ready made followership and yeah, yeah now the, the person who also gets uh you know casted yeah is also in doubt by the way yeah am i being casted for for my talent or, or for the number of followers that i have so yeah so fucking messed up it's dude. really fucked up it's really <laughs> yeah. it's sad it's sad that it's come to this like i feel like it's it's really unfortunate that sure. we're looking at like literally a number of followers someone has over their talent and what they bring to the table it's sure. well it's just the way it is now social media has yeah. like taken over to it's taken over that much that it's taken over that much you like really look at that more than anything but i'll tell you one more thing right the, the now uh, you're at like 6k yeah uh, i'm at 5k uh, there are influencers or celebrities at 100k and i can guarantee you they don't have the respect that we have mm this is the reality yeah. in the 6000 people that know you yeah. on social media yeah. in the 5000 people that know me it will still beat the 100k page yeah in yeah. real life yeah in real respect they'll stand no way close yeah yeah and this is just the reality absolutely yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, i just hope people understand that yeah because um, yeah i mean it doesn't cost you too much to go to 100k yeah really literally like i've i've heard people like people sometimes tell me like as a joke my friends are like oh here you're stuck at this much should i buy some for you i'm like please do not spend any money on followers i do not want like i want a, my page to be as organic as it can and also as real as it can right yeah. like social media like i mean it's it's a very uh, it's a very like different persona from what you see on social media what you see in person yeah. so i'm trying to keep it as like you know as yeah. as raw and real as possible True. because you get you, you get lost in that world True. you know i myself i look at people's profiles and i look at this and i'm like wow this is so good this is a, but then i'm like like when you see them in person is it going to be the same yeah that you'll never know that until you see them i mean i can now um, tell you from personal experience right? yeah. in terms of uh meeting people here uh without taking any names of course <laughs> <laughs> because we still got to work <laughs> come in here with like 
hundred k and two hundred k and everything. And this is real shit that I'm telling. Yeah, hundred k, two hundred k followers, and this is when maybe I had like thousand followers. Yeah, not yeah, even like what I have now. Yeah. So they would uh, right from the time we reach out. So there is this sense of superiority mm. over us. Okay. Yeah. Who are you? You know. Cocky. Cocky <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. Anyway. so they come and they carry that persona yeah. even here but i'll i'll tell you the fucking honest truth yeah. they would come here and yeah they have a 100k 200k page um but if i had to compare what life skills i have yeah. to some of the people yeah they w- they w- they wouldn't have even started running the race and i would have crossed the finish line mm. and that's the real thing so i think the yeah. thing with that is it, it gets to the head yeah fuck i've reached 10000 followers i'm fucking the best person on the fucking planet that yeah. is what that's their thought process yeah. and that's what it shouldn't be you shouldn't get carried away by just the fucking numbers like it's nothing 10000 is like yeah fuck the numbers who gives a fuck who's yeah. looking okay. <laughs> yeah yeah it's not it no and people watching doesn't mean people supporting yeah this is the other thing yeah yeah just because a 100k people yeah. watched your video exactly doesn't mean that tomorrow if you have a downfall yeah. those 100k people are going to support you yeah absolutely not like maybe 10 out of the 100k was literally yeah. out 10 out of the 100k it's just that sure. it's just there like it's just a number yeah. like i said it's nothing yeah. but a number of sure. useless like absolutely no sense it makes uh, do you have friends who are obsessed with social media obsessed no i think we're all mm. quite um, yeah i have like i think all my friends are super private on their social media they're not very open about like like they know they know they're very private they don't like to be open on social media they have like all of them have private accounts all of them have like only people i know i'm going to allow to follow it like it's very private and i think it's a good thing like i think had i not been someone in the public eye i would have also preferred a private profile but for the work i want to do it you have to be out there True. And yeah, I mean, it's people will say shit. You just have to take it in one ear and let it out of the other. But then, I, like that being said, sometimes there are days where you're just like reading it, and it's real. Like if you're already in a bad mood, I'll like be reading, and I'm like, fuck, I'm a failure only <laughs> reading all this. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> I'm really, really like bad. Uh, But then, like the next day, I'm like, fuck them. Like, like if they, if they. saw me in person they wouldn't have the balls to say this shit like yeah. <laughs> only because they're behind the screen they're like saying whatever they want you come in front of me no way you see no, it no like, see no yeah no. Mm. Uh, have the been any uh, people like who you treat as a role model here in the south like mm in the south a lot of people i mean now especially now because there's so much like growth in the south industry like i really love a lot of the films like i was telling you right now rukmini yeah. rukmini vasant yeah. i think the way she's like started off to where she's gone where she's going now such an amazing inspiring like mm-hmm. journey it's been for yeah. her and So she's someone that I like, whose path I would love to follow. But I think, um, I think luck plays an important role. Okay. I think it's. Uh, I've I've always been told that, and now that I look at it, I'm like, it's it's possible that luck is something that is important for for a lot of things. Like mm. you just need like that. Like they say in Canada, honey mm. bara. It's all written. Oh. No, you need. <laughs> Mic <Mike> drop. <laughs> There you go. So the hari bara is like didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> nice. Yeah. So sweet stuff, like, dude. Nice. So yeah. So I think yeah, luck. Luck plays. Sometimes out. it's there. Sometimes yeah. not. Sometimes it comes unexpectedly and yeah, changes your life basically. Mm. This was nice, Gayatri. Yeah, it's super fun. <laughs> you like the conversation? Yeah, but it wasn't that scary. Not that scary. All. I I walked in here thinking like, "Fuck, I have nothing to say. What am I going to talk about? I have no nothing to like, no achievements. What am I going to say?" But it was social. <laughs> yeah, that's all this so was. So much fun. Yeah, and yeah, just to get a vibe of yeah. how things are going, and uh, of course, right? Like now you realize that. Uh, The whole reason we are doing this is to just document your journey. Yeah, like you said, like five years yeah. from now, when I come here again, I yeah. hope and pray that there's a lot of like lot of the things I've like said that I dream about doing, I've accomplished in sure. five years. Sure. So, yeah. but uh, you need to make us one promise though. Yes. That uh, the next time we do this, it should be you 
who's the one who decides when it should happen. Oh, okay. So we'll wait for you to reach out. Done, done. Absolutely. Say, hey, dude, you know, done. Um, I think it's time to have another chat. Yeah, once I've I think it's been a good meet. ride. Yeah. Not like, yeah, don't wait too long. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Done, done, done. For as sure. As soon as yeah. you feel like, yeah, I think I got more to talk about. Yeah. I think uh, we should do this done. again. Yeah. For sure. Amazing, dude. I, I mean, it's exciting. I think you've... Uh, whatever courage you can show you've shown uh, there are people supporting you and yeah. uh, you never know what life has for you right like really like yeah. Zomato came out of nowhere, nowhere for you yeah. and uh, uh, you're saying that this is just the beginning and you have no idea yeah what's um, what's in store and also come. like I'm 20 years old <laughs> yeah have a long life ahead yeah. <laughs> long 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 and the other thing about success is uh, sometimes a lot of people get success early yeah but uh, a lot of those people also lose it as quickly early, yeah as quickly right yeah. because so say early 20 success or early 30 success might not be there yeah um, you know much earlier yeah and i just feel like sometimes delayed success is a blessing rather than for sure yeah anything else yeah. because anyway what are you chasing it's yeah. not like uh, people who have got early success in their 20s are uh, have gone to Miami to chill and like yeah, said, yeah. hey you know what I've made yeah. it no, in fact they're the most stressed as they've ever been Yeah, because now there's like a lot more to do Yeah, so I just feel like everyone has their own pace as well Yeah, so just gotta enjoy it enjoy for, sure, it for yeah. and like enjoy the journey like I yeah. said every everything as long as you love what you're doing yeah. you'll, you'll always do it true and uh, I'll tell I'll just end with this right uh there was a, a phase with the podcast as well, maybe between the 60 and the 80th episode where I just started to do this for views, mm-hmm. right? Uh, I needed every reel to get more reach than the previous one and it was happening. It was happening amazingly. Uh, and then there was a drop. Uh, I said, shit, so uh, is it is this done so this this plan is not working mm. and i went through this major bt that fuck you know what have i done like i i really thought this was for me yeah and uh, i mean it happens even now but much lesser and then suddenly uh, in the middle this had started to feel very transactional mm. like i'm just doing it to like you know just put the videos out there and see yeah. what yeah, happens yeah, with yeah. it yeah. not realizing that uh, this moment of just speaking to someone yeah. was everything for me for like this yeah, is why yeah. I started it yeah 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 not uh, for people to see, see it, it and get anything, the number right? of views and all that because yeah. initially uh, even now there are reels with 600 views yeah. 700 views yeah. and dude I used to be like man imagine 700 people in a hall yeah 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 that's how I've been yeah, yeah. No, that's how I've been I yeah. feel. I'm like like okay I've got 400 likes yeah imagine 400 people in a room that's yeah that's, that's a, a big number people. that's a huge yeah. thing like it's yeah it's perspective it's about yes. the way you look at it yes. yeah so then I think I kind of said you know what dude fuck this chase yeah. fuck this chasing of numbers and yeah fine I'll keep a track and it's required to you know at some point make this like a you know uh, sustainable business because if I want to do it for the rest of my life it has to be sustainable yeah. as well but it really taught me in a very uh, rough way that uh, it's not about where this is going but this is it like yeah, yeah. you going and shooting that Dunne Biryani video yeah. <laughs> that's the success yeah. the fact that you were able to yeah. even do that yeah. that's it everything yeah. that comes after is actually just brownie points yeah yeah. but we really forget that mm. as we go on we say hey you know what let's go eat the biryani let's go make the video what comes after that is what I really want yeah, yeah. it really changes perspective yeah so sure. anyway all the best Gayatri thank you thank you for having me it was actually super fun <laughs> better than whatever I expected <laughs> sure. what did you think this was I was so scared I thought you were going to ask me some deep question <laughs> I'm fucking going to be like on the spot I don't know what to say <laughs> no but it was super fun thank you for having yeah. me and yeah. yeah I hope we grow together I hope sure. we get reach the that's the plan yeah that's the that plan. Reach the goal. Yeah, that we yeah. want to do, and uh, that and that time is going to be super special. Yeah, because you'll be at certain places that you want to get in, and yeah. we'll be at certain places yeah. that we've been wanting to go. Yeah, to. and I think that conversation will yeah absolutely. make for a nice episode. Yes. So uh, I'm glad you came in. 
I'm glad uh, you came in in the first hundred. Yeah, uh, me too. That is something that's very special for us. Yeah. And um, wish you all the best. Thank you. You yeah. too. Thank you. And uh, kudos to everyone who supported you. Yeah. Uh, because again, without them, it, it none of this is possible. Really. Right? It's never. Yeah. A, uh it's never a single person single, no not at all a lot of people getting things yeah. done and uh shout out to uh everyone who's working with you at zomato yes i think it's shout out to all of you <laughs> yeah i think it's damn cool dude it's, i think it's, it's damn, damn team, quirky yeah. it's damn nice uh it's relatable uh and i know that's not easy to crack like yeah, you need yeah. to put in a lot of efforts to put that combination together yeah, so yeah. kudos to the team who's made that possible yeah. and uh to everyone who's watched till here Thank you so much. As always, uh, we'll be back with uh, another episode very soon. Let us know how you felt about this. If you don't follow Gayatri yet, you should because she's in for some big things in the future. And Thank follow you. the Adarsh. Does yes. the podcast have a separate page? Uh, it no, page? it's just Adarsh Sakri. Okay. So then follow Adarsh as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> we don't mind a few more for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you everyone this was episode number 97 of on a personal note with other sakri we'll uh, see you on the next one